So when you were growing up, what did home mean to you? I think it meant safety. Mm. I grew up in the Bronx, grew up in the projects. You know, surroundings were a bit sketchy. But I knew that in my house, I was safe. I was loved. I was nurtured, protected. To this day, I try to carry that over to my family. How can we make this space our refuge? Well, I live in a house. I call it my house of estrogen <laughs> because it's my wife and my two daughters. And so I think every husband, father should have a man room. Okay. It's essential <laughs> for your sanity. Speak on it. So, <laughs> so, yes, when I am able to go into my office, my man room, <laughs> And just be in my solitude for that moment, for those moments. Yeah. Oh, that's everything. It feels so good. <laughs> yes. So <laughs> that is my <laughs> that is my space. And they understand it's your your yeah. room. Yeah, yeah, and they, yeah, yeah, right. So that is definitely communicated. So it's going to sound a strange follow up uh, <laughs> in the sense of a space in in my house. Is, there's this two. One is uh, I have a picture of my my dad and uh, this picture of the moon that he took, and oh. it's on the the stairs kind of go around, and so it's in the in the corner bit, and so every time I pass this photo of him and the moon, it's like I'm saying hi and checking in, mm. uh, and I'll yeah, regularly that's, that's nice. just you know not say out loud. Well, sometimes I will, you know, I'll just share how my day was or. Uh, how you doing? Uh, and then the other one, yeah, is my my little meditation spot. Although my husband's moved where his desk is, which is slightly encroaching on my spot, so we need to have a conversation about that. <laughs> <laughs> I just have plants. I love plants so much. I am a proud plant mama of like thirty two plants. I love plants so much. It's just like a presence. I don't know what it is, but like, I just feel like I'm being witnessed by my plants and they hold me accountable. Like, am I taking care of them? Are they mm. being watered? Is there enough sunlight? Mm. If they need sunlight, I need sunlight. The way you feel about plants, I feel about candles. Mm. Like whenever I start a meeting or I start to write, I light a candle and it feels like it's witnessing me or, or like providing company when I'm all alone. Mm. It's just literal warmth. And then there's a spot in my house, well, outside where I, there's like some chairs and some cushy chairs. And, um, but I like to go there and just survey the yard, like mm. just look at the bees and, mm. and take in the flowers. And, you know, it's a busy street, but it feels like it's an oasis. Mm. And it gives me time to just orient to the day and, and spend, like just slow down my pace so that mm. I can actually take in all the life that's part of that yard, like squirrels and birds and the smell of the orange blossom and the orange trees. And mm. so, yeah, nature is really uh, supportive. Yeah. Do you have a favorite spot in your house that you meditate? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, in, there's, uh, there's a little mezzanine level. By the window, uh, and have I'll crack open the window so we can have the mm. morning breeze. Mm. Uh, mine is right. I have two spots. One right beside my bed. There's like a plush rug. I mean, that's another thing I really like in my home is like plush. Like I don't know what the feeling is, but I have a lot of blankets and rugs in my house mm. that are soft that I can like rub and touch. I have that beside my bed, um, and then um, in my living room. Where all my plants are, I set up the other meditation spot. Um, it's like right beside the window. So I'll open the window up and we'll all be facing outside and we're just like sitting together. <laughs> it's really nice and peaceful. That's yeah. Awesome. I just do it everywhere. I meditate everywhere <laughs> around mm -hmm. my house because it, sometimes I'll come up with excuses if it's cluttered. I live with mm -hmm. other people. So sometimes mm -hmm. they're in a room where I want to mm -hmm. go and I, I just go, I just pick up my cushion and take it somewhere where there's not a person. But yeah, I like the base of my bed. 
mm-hmm. you know, on the carpet and just light a candle and um, yeah, just wherever I can plop, plop down <laughs> without anyone else, you know, interfering. Yeah. That's the main thing. No, I can second that too, Sam. Um, I, I, for me, I like the edge of the bed. So when I wake up, I just sit on the edge right away. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel you. No excuses. Yeah. No excuses. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's just, let's just get into it. And then, of course, you know, my man room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you light a candle in the man room? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have candles. I have incense. Hey. Yeah. I like incense, too. Okay. Yeah. I do. <laughs> What's the vibe? I want to know more about the vibe in there. Like, what color are the walls? Is it dark oh, paint or light paint? No, no. Paint? It's not dark. It's, no. it's light paint. It's, it's a cool vibe, you know. Any posters? I was going to do the whole poster thing, but I decided against it. Mm. I do have up my vision board, so I see it every day. I put it right right on the, nice. on the wall there. Yeah, but that's, that's the only thing I have on the walls, yeah. I don't want to clutter it too much. Mm-hmm. You know, I want to keep it like a blank canvas, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Kesunga done grown up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>